this was a fantastic day because today was the third Matilda Street pop-up bike lane that we have done over the last three years. We do these pop-up protected bike lanes so that there is an opportunity for children to get to school in a safe way using some form of active transportation where they otherwise may not have the safe infrastructure in place. We are going to have a painting party. It's washable paint, so if you get a little bit on you, it'll come off. Oh, to work with the kids is so much fun. And they're so enthusiastic about doing something and participating and doing something good for the school and then something they're going to use tomorrow. They'll take this experience with them and they will bring it back into wherever they live, whether it's in Miami or it's another city. When they're on their bikes tomorrow, you'll see them. They're so proud that it was them who painted the bike lane. Last year was so successful, we thought, let's demonstrate this again and really evaluate it. Up until that, great job. But they're very excited and they're all covered in green paint. It's impossible to not get in on your shoes. <laughs> yeah, look at mine. It's an early, early morning here at Coconut Grove Elementary. We got the bike lane painted yesterday, and we're just waiting for everybody to get together at Blanche Park. I'm going to hop on my bike and meet everybody. It's like mini Utrecht in the Netherlands. It's a testament to show how much the environment actually plays a role in behavior. If we had more of these lanes, we'd have more people riding, whether it's to school or to work, and they feel protected. Just think about how we can actually improve upon increasing physical activity and having less cars on the road. We were able to count over 100 coming from one direction, so it's definitely an undercount. And so if you re-envision your environment to have safer ways for people to move about their space, they will take advantage of it. And we'll see you at the next one.